Well, hello everybody. It is the 28th uh, of December, our last morning here. We're just waiting for the castle caretaker, Geraldine, to get here and read the gas meter because we have to pay for the gas. Uh, and then we're bundling off and heading down to Killarney. So I figured this was my last opportunity now that the weather's kind of good and the rain stopped just to get out on top of the roof out of my bedroom, that loft area. You can see the window behind me and through it, hopefully you can see the loft balcony overlooking the great room. But figured we'd just take a walk along the parapet and maybe up onto the tower, and get a look out from about three to four stories up. So I've already said and told you the history in a previous video when we did the inside. Uh, I've got tons of photos of the outside. The castle sits on seven acres of land and again also right on the shore of Lochurub. Loch is Irish for lake, just like in Scotland, it's Loch. So this is the second largest lake in Ireland. It is the largest lake in the Republic. So the country that's independent from the United Kingdom and is and will remain part of the European Union. So there's roughly 1,100 islands or islets on the lake. And for those of you who may want to look on a map, if you look at the west coast, find the city Galway. It's about halfway up the coast. And then just north of Galway, you'll see a very large lake. And you'll find it. That's it. So Loch is spelled L-O-U-G-H and Korrib is C-O-R-R-I-B. So our parapet goes pretty much around the building. Uh, and on this side, it stops at the tower. On the other side, which we'll sit around to pretty quickly here in a second, uh, it actually leads to a staircase that goes up the tower. Um, it's a pretty treacherous stair, so it's slick. We'll give it a try, and hopefully we can get some shots from up there as well. So, our parapet walk, and of course, this is our parking lot and driveway onto the road. It's about, I'm going to say, two miles to a main road, so we are fairly secluded. Uh, there are neighbors. Uh, actually, there's one on the immediate side of us. However, that's a summer house, and we walked by, and the gravel driveway had a lot of grass and moss in it, so I have a feeling they haven't been there in quite a while. Um, across the street here we can get a little better view because there's a lot of fields but there are houses on that side of the street if you walk down even just a couple of minutes so and then the seven acres is mostly this forest land here uh, we hiked around in that on christmas day for a bit so it's pretty thick but there are some paths that you can wander so as we go now we're heading towards the tower um, the tower room. So through that door is a small bedroom. Uh, unfortunately, the door is locked for the season. So, but uh, we were able to get in the other day and uh, I took some photos of it. So if you want to go on my Facebook uh, and take a look, it's just a very small, we would call it a cell. There's enough room for a twin bed, a writing desk, and it does have a sink. So, um, the water here is all well water. It's very fresh, very clear. I know some people in the States are like, well water tastes terrible here. You, you can't tell a difference pretty much anywhere in Ireland, except maybe the largest cities. People have no problem drinking out of the tap. So now we've got this stairwell and I apologize there. We're gonna try and go up the steps. The first part of this isn't too bad. If you take a look, yeah, they're, they're pretty steep. <laughs> pretty narrow. It's up here that it gets just a little bit more interesting because no good castle, or as we have learned, this is a tower keep, but none of them are worth a grain of salt if they don't have 
some kind of a corkscrew step just to make life a little more interesting. And here we are at the top of the tower. And I mentioned before that these tower keeps were typically built within line of sight of each other. So somewhere in the distance would be another tower. Let me step up here. And each of the towers would have had some kind of a brazier uh, or a firebox. And if they saw a threat or were under threat, they would light it and in that way the other tower keeps in the area would be able to see that fire and they would know that there was a threat and respond accordingly. So other than that, again, we're just, you can see the parapet that we were just walking on over there. Yeah, there is a heck of a breeze coming off the lake. We'll just walk the parapet or walk the tower. Here's our neighbor's house. We were really surprised when we came that there was a neighbor that close, but again, this is the one. Pretty certain the house is a summer house. Uh, there's a boat, but again, the driveway. I don't know if you zoom the video in, you might be able to see the depression. It's a gravel driveway, but it is mostly green at this point. So they've probably been gone for a while. Uh, if you're looking for a castle, I said in my last one, I would recommend this one. Um, it does have access to a boat. There is a boat house here, and I think it's 500 euro a week. You can rent the boat. Uh, now, a pilot for the boat is a separate cost, but that person can come out, and if you're not real familiar with working a boat, they can teach you. It's not terribly difficult. Uh, and then you can tool around and then you just need to pay for whatever fuel you use. So this time of year, it just wasn't worth it. And we had too many things we wanted to see and do. And, you know, um, Michael, our third member in our merry band left this morning for Shannon airport. So we wanted to make certain that we got a lot of unique sites and things that he would never see in the States uh, or us either, but since he was here just for the week. So it really didn't make sense to try and pack a lot into the castle. Uh, we hung out here all day, Christmas and then St. Stephen's Day, which is the day after. Um, so it was a really good time. Um, we, we balanced pretty well between running Mad Dash all over the Western countryside uh, and then having the two days in between where we were just really hanging out at the castle and um, there's a local caterer literally just like a mile or so down the road uh, and we bought a basket of, <laughs> I say goodies, but she literally cooked ham and turkey and lasagna and she made salads and desserts. Um, and oh my gosh, she filled the refrigerator in like two baskets of fruit and bread um, in the great room. So, I mean, for really, we were nibbling every night and then ate full meals. Uh, it was only 300 euro. Again, if you're interested in doing something like this, um, it may seem a little bit steep, but again, when you realize, I mean, all we had to do was warm the stuff up and um, we had a meal going. It was, it was fantastic, definitely worth it. If you, again, wanna have that experience of eating in a castle. So it has been, pardon the pun, but it's apt to say it has been a magical week. Uh, Shayla and I wish Michael well on his trip back. He'll be getting in late tonight. Um, his whole day is filled with flight. So again, safe travels to him. And we hope everybody had a good holiday and continues to into the new year. And we're gonna continue this adventure in Killarney later this afternoon. We'll talk to you then.